Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. I have a couple of um, oddities from northwest Italy here. Um, the Piemonte region, best known for uh, Barolo and Barbaresco, and then it's got a couple of, uh, um, not quite also rounds, but things like more everyday stuff, uh, Dolcetto and Barbera. Uh, but the wines I've got today are uh, slightly more obscure than that. Uh, than that. Both, from the, both, blah, 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 both from the same winery, which is uh, Tenuta La Pergola di Boda, in the town of Cisterna d'Asti, remember that, we'll come back to that in a moment. Um, first one is a grape called Freisa, uh, F-R-E-I-S-A, and um, Freisa d'Asti, so let's give that one a whirl. There's a soft warmth about this, I mean Freisa, uh, it's, I don't, I'm not quite sure what the Italian word for strawberry is, but I think it's, it's slightly related. Uh, and, uh, but it smells like there's warmth, there's a bit of uh, vanilla in here. I don't think it's vanilla from oak, I'm not sure. Maybe it's vanilla from, uh, uh, from the grapes. But yes, that soft, soft, sweet, ever so slightly puddingy strawberry. And then that's the thing about Fraser. It lulls you into this sense of security that it's going to be a soft, juicy, uh, berry rich wine. And then this whack of earthy tannin kicks in. Um, and um, very distinctive flavours. And um, you, yes, it's one of those that you almost think, what do I need with that? I need some flesh. I need some, I need some uh, uh, umami rich protein. Um, so, um, yes, I, I think you could say the same uh, about a lot of the wines of the region, but um, an intriguing beast. Okay, second one is actually labelled Cisterna Dasti. Um, and uh, we, of, of course, you know the, uh, all about Cisterna Dasti. Uh, I gather that you're allowed... Um, bits of uh, Dolcetto and Nebbiolo and Barbera in there, uh, but this one is made mostly from the Croatina grape, which may or may not be the same as uh, uh, the grape that they know, know as Bonarda in, uh, uh, in, in uh, Argentina. Uh, the jury's out. This smells warmer and more mature and uh, yes, a bit more relaxed than the Fraser. The Fraser had that nice strawberry uh, character, but there was a little bit, bit, bit of iron. Here, um, it's, uh, well, I can't remember the vintage of the, uh, of the so two, the cistern is 2010 and the other one is 2012. So you're getting two more years of uh, softening and maturity. And it's coming through in, uh, yeah, there's the red berries in there, but there's this plummier richness as well. Yeah, I like that fleshiness that you've got there. There's a, um, a warmth, a softness, uh, an earthiness. Um, yeah, you feel that someone's dragged something out of the soil to uh, put it in the wine rather than the wine's just been uh, plopped together in a wine factory. And um, uh, the fin compared with the previous one, it's softer and richer. Um, I mean, th there's still a backbone of tan in there, but not like it was in the Fraser. Uh, here, I actually prefer the balance of this one. The Fraser's distinctive. This one is the one I want to sit down and uh, bring out my... Probably something that's, uh, that's had a little bit of a long, well, quite a lot of long, slow cooking. So uh, maybe I'm, I'll go looking for an oxtail now. And if I can't find one, I'll uh, get one tomorrow morning and cook it all day and have it tomorrow night with the rest of this bottle. See you soon.